there are thousands of lift truck accidents, many of which result in death. A five-year study shows how the accidents break down in terms of causes. 47% collisions. 16% load shifting or falling load. 8% When a lift truck picks up a load, the center of gravity of the truck and the center of gravity of the load will produce the combined center of gravity. The combined center of gravity will move in the same direction that the load moves. A typical narrow aisle reach truck has a four-point suspension system. This forms a stability trapezoid base. With the added dimensions of lift height, it forms a three-dimensional triangle similar to a pyramid. When the combined center of gravity stays within the stability pyramid, the truck is stable. If you move the center of gravity forward of the stability pyramid, as when a load is too heavy or too high, the truck will tip forward quick and slides on a wet surface. Unable to stop, the truck continues over the edge. The operator senses this emergency situation and steps out of the operator compartment. In the event your stand-up lift are clearly visible and able to be read. Now, with the key in the on position and with the dead man foot brake released, continue with the following inspections. Ensure that the controls move easily and that the brake cell has a positive and negative post. The cell is filled with a solution of sulfuric acid and water called electrolyte. Each cell generates approximately two volts of electricity. When it's time to recharge the battery, park your narrow aisle lift truck with the brake on. Hydrogen is a highly flammable gas and for this reason batteries must only be charged in well ventilated areas. Make sure that there is no smoking or open flames in the area. Turn the key switch off. Unplug the battery connector from the truck and attach the charger connector to the load wheels close to the inside aisle and start turning. This will allow room for the rear end to swing out in the opposite direction. Before you pick up a load, make sure that your forks are spread as far apart as possible for maximum support of the load and that they are long enough to stabilize it. Order pickers have a few extra safety rules, and these are always wear an approved safety harness every time you get on the truck. Never use the truck to load or unload racks, as this is not what they were designed. Walked out in the aisle as Paul drove by. As a result, Jeff suffered a broken leg and mild concussion. When it comes to pedestrian safety, one rule always applies, and that is, pedestrians have the right of way. Professional forklift operators take their job seriously and know the limitations of their equipment. We hope that you have found this video helpful to familiarize you with your narrow aisle truck and encourage you to use what you've learned to drive safely.